How's it going everyone? Welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up ExpressVPN on your consoles and smart TVs, despite the fact that you might not find any VPNs in their respective app stores. There are a couple of main methods you can use, and these apply to most VPNs like Nord and Surfshark, but there are also a couple of methods exclusive to ExpressVPN, as they actively try to make their services easier to use and more accessible to a wider range of people. And of course, if you'd like to check out Express for yourself, you'll find links to pricing and discounts, as well as full reviews in the description down below. Now, I'll be walking you through the these methods step by step, and the three VPNs that I recommend the most for this are going to be ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Not only are they compatible with router setups, but they also have lightning fast speeds, audited no logs policies, plenty of obfuscated servers, and all the necessary security features you might need from a VPN. That said, for this video, I'll be focusing on ExpressVPN mainly, as it has a couple of alternative setups besides the two I already mentioned, so you sort of get more options here that you can use for your consoles or smart TVs. Okay, so starting with the first method, which is installing the VPN on your router, you're going to have to check whether or not your router supports VPNs in the first place. Now, most modern routers do support VPNs, but you can verify this in the user manual or by logging into your router's admin panel. If your router is compatible, the next step is to download the VPN configuration files from your VPN provider, which are usually found in your account dashboard. In the case of ExpressVPN, you can find those configurations by signing into your ExpressVPN account, going to the setup page, clicking on manual configuration, and then selecting the configuration of the VPN server you'd like to install in your router. Once you have those downloaded, log into your router's admin panel, which you can do by entering your router's IP address into your browser and look for the VPN settings, which might be under the advanced or security section, depending on your router's interface. Here, you'll need to upload the configuration files and enter any additional details like the server address, as well as your VPN username and password. After saving the settings, your router will start routing all of your internet traffic through the VPN, which means every device connected to your network, whether it's your smartphone, console, smart TV, or laptop, will benefit from the VPN's encryption and IP masking. Now, with ExpressVPN, you can skip all these steps if you get the ExpressVPN AirCove router, which has the VPN already installed. And so, if you don't have a router that's compatible with VPNs, it might be a great idea to go for the AirCove, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. Okay, so this is a great method to set up a VPN on devices that you can't install VPNs on, but there is a bit of a downside to it. Since you're installing a single setup on your router, you're basically forcing all of the connected devices to use the same VPN tunnel. And so, let's say you want some devices to use your normal internet while others use the VPN, with a router setup, that's going to be very difficult. And this brings us to the second method, which is using your computer or laptop as a VPN hotspot. By doing this, you can keep your router for normal unencrypted connections and have the designated hotspot as the only VPN source. Okay, so to set this up, the first thing to do is connect to a VPN server with Express. Closest VPN server to me is the Madrid server, so I'll go ahead and connect to that. Now, if you're like me and you're using a Windows PC, head to your settings by pressing Win plus I, then navigate to the network and internet section and find a mobile hotspot. Here, you're gonna need to turn on the mobile hotspot option and under the section that says share my internet connection from, select your active internet connection, which is usually Wi-Fi. Oh, and you can even customize the network name and password by clicking on the edit option. Okay, so once you're done with that, your Windows PC will function as a VPN hotspot, and any device that connects to this network will automatically be using the VPN connection. Now, for those of you on Mac OS, the process is a bit different, but just as simple. Click on the Apple in the top left-hand corner of your screen, then click on System Preferences. And in the left tab, click on General, then click on Sharing. You'll see an option for internet sharing. Select that. Before you turn this on, there's a few things you need to do. You cannot use your computer's Wi-Fi connection and share the same Wi-Fi connection for a hotspot because the Wi-Fi can only connect to one thing at a time. So we have to share the Mac internet using a network cable, an Ethernet Cat5 cable as it's called. So first, click on your Wi-Fi in the top right corner, don't switch off the Wi-Fi, but disconnect from whichever Wi-Fi network you're connected to. Once it's off, you'll see it goes gray. Leave Wi-Fi turned on and go back to internet sharing and click on the eye icon to the right of internet sharing to configure the connection and the sharing network that we're going to set up. Once you've clicked on the eye, it will bring up sharing options. Leave the on off button at the top off for now. When you look at share your connection from, we can't, as I said, share it from Wi-Fi if we are connecting to the internet with Wi-Fi. So we have to change this to ethernet adapter, network adapter. EN3 is fine 99% of the time, so choose that. That means you have to physically take the ethernet cable, plug it into your Mac and connect it to either your fiber box or your modem slash router. That's how you'll connect to the internet from your Mac. Once you've done that, you can then share the Wi-Fi and allow other devices to connect to your hotspot via Wi-Fi. 
So turn on the Wi-Fi, and you'll see as you turn it on, it asks for your computer username and password, the administrator name and password. You'll then see on your screen the Configure an Internet Sharing Network tab. It will have everything filled in, but if you want to change the name or password, you can, or if there's no password, you can just put in one that you'll remember. Channel 11 and security, you can leave at whatever default is chosen. So we've essentially created a Wi-Fi hotspot, and that's it. Now, you can then go to the top and click on the on button. A warning that you are definitely sure you want to share your internet pops up. Click turn on, and that's it. You can see everything is grayed out, so you can't change anything as it's actually sharing now. Click on done and close the window. You now have a hotspot, so if you go to your other devices or whatever you want to use, you can pick your Mac hotspot under the name of your Wi-Fi network that you've created. Once you turn on ExpressVPN on your Mac, anything that connects to your computer that you're sharing your connection with will get all the benefits of ExpressVPN, giving you the extra security, privacy, and changing of location. All the ExpressVPN settings will apply to your hotspot network. Okay, so these are the two main methods you can use to set up a VPN on your consoles and smart TV. And as I said, they are also compatible with some of the top VPNs in the market like Nord and Surfshark. But let's say you're on console and you're only interested in accessing region-specific content with Express. Well, there's actually an easier way to do that, and that's through the ExpressVPN Media Streamer Setup. First, you'll need to log into your ExpressVPN account on their website and head over to the DNS Settings section. Here you'll find the Media Streamer DNS server IP addresses. Jot those down because you'll need them in a second. Now hop onto your console, whether it's a PlayStation Xbox or whatever you're using and go into the network settings. Find the option to set up a new network or modify your current one and when you get the DNS settings choose the manual setup. Just enter those media streamer DNS addresses you noted earlier and save the settings. Now you can watch any region exclusive content on your consoles regardless of where you are in the world. And that's basically it for this video. These are all the methods that you can use to install ExpressVPN on your consoles and smart TVs. And again if you're interested in ExpressVPN or ExpressVPN Aircove you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. Besides that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos. Let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.